Controversy now surrounding outgoing state attorney Angela Corey. Two weeks after the Clay County Sheriff-elect announced he was appointing Corey to his staff as general counsel, there is now growing criticism over that decision. A petition online is trying to get the sheriff-elect to reconsider, saying the people of Clay County voted her out of office and don't want her to have a role in the agency. John Force Chris Parento spoke with the soon-to-be sheriff and with those who started the petition. Chris, what did Daryl Daniels tell you about the opposition to Corey? Tom, he says that he understands this frustration, but that he made the decision strategically to fill operational gaps in his agency. The men that started the petition say they do hope that the sheriff will reconsider. We kind of feel betrayed. Strong words from one of the men who started this petition. He points to primary night when voters in Clay County overwhelmingly voted against another term for state attorney Angela Corey. At least us having our voices heard and know that we're watching and we're paying attention. We're there for support. There for support for the sheriff's office. Anything that we can do to assist. Daniels announced earlier this month that Corey will be filling the role of general counsel with the sheriff's office through April of 2017. This petition is starting to gain more support as she gets closer to taking her new role. Uh, we're for Mr. Daniels and we want to give him a chance to be a good sheriff, but I, I, I just believe in my heart and I believe that the people are starting to step up. I believe that uh, he's making a, a, a bad political move here. But Daniels says the appointment isn't political at all. It's one that will benefit the agency long term through the training of employees that she will provide. I didn't hire her as a state attorney to try cases. I'm hiring her to perform a certain function, to perform the duties of general counsel, which is to protect, overall to protect the office of sheriff. Daniels tells me the decision was based on his judgment, experience, and expertise. All of those are what he says the people of Clay County voted for when they elected him. Trust me as your incoming sheriff, you know, I will always make my decisions and base decisions on your, your interests and not necessarily on what you like or dislike, but what's best for Clay County and keeping Clay County safe and secure and out of, uh, out of litigation. Daniels says that once Corey's role is complete at the end of next April, he will then hire someone who he feels is the most qualified to fill the role permanently. But he says that as sheriff, he knows not all of his decisions will be popular with everyone.